What's up everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Hope everybody's having a great week this week. Today we have a very special episode about a very pretty starfish. These guys look awesome in any tank. They'll definitely strike for people seeing in your tank. They're going to be like, dude, look at that starfish. This is called the Red Knob Sea Star, or as we like to call them at the shop, the Red General Starfish. Other names for them is the African Sea Star and the Red Spine Star. Prices on them, you'll normally see them running about $40 to $60. They are a little bit more expensive for a starfish, sometimes even more if you get a larger one. Tank size, starfish really don't need a specific tank size. Just don't let me catch you putting in like a 6 inch long starfish in your little 10 gallon. Like that's not going to be good for them. A lot of times when we sell these... They tend to go in about 55 gallons with plenty of live rock to run around on and they are very happy in that. Care level, they are super easy to take care of. You don't have to do much. Temper, they are a very peaceful starfish. Reef compatible, definitely not. These guys will eat your coral. A lot of people make a big mistake by seeing how pretty these guys are and they think, man, this is going to look great in my coral tank. But then they start running around and eating their coral. Now, you will hear stories of people that have had them in their tanks for years without eating any of their coral, but that's not something I want to risk, and I wouldn't want y'all to risk that either. So, if you do have a reef tank, you might want to watch out on getting these. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1, 8.4, and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. Make sure you keep it right in there. And also make sure you don't have any big fluctuations with your salinity because it can really hurt this guy. So whenever you first get them, make sure you acclimate them very slowly. However you normally would acclimate your fish, you basically want to double that for this starfish. Up at the shop, we'll acclimate them for about four to six hours. It's a long time, but we just want to make sure that they get used to the water not too fast. Max size, like I said, they can get a foot long. From leg to leg, you can measure 12 inches. These guys can eventually get really big, and so they'll need to be in a pretty large tank for them to roam around comfortably. Colors on them, of course, that's why everybody buys them. They're very bright red, and they have this white design that makes it look really cool on top of them. Diet, so whenever they are young, they will tend to eat algae, but really once they get older, they tend to turn more into a carnivore. So at the end of the day, they are an omnivore. So feeding tends to be roaming around the tank, eating leftover algae, and then you hand feeding them. A lot of times we will grab shrimp from the grocery store, little frozen packs, and we will peel them off and we'll put a little bitty piece up under their leg and they'll actually grab it with those tentacles and bring it to its mouth. It's very cool to watch. I'll put some videos in here so y'all can see another type of starfish that was eaten from us and you can really see him bring it into his mouth. It's very cool. Very easy to feed them, but you do need to make sure you're hand feeding them. They do also eat other things like clams on a half shell. Really just anything meaty that you can get down there to them so that they can grab it. It'll work out really good for them. Origin, they do come from Africa, of course, and some in the Indonesia area. Compatibility, just ask. We do house these guys with other starfish all the time with no problem. I have seen other people worry about it with them wanting to like chase after each other, but you really shouldn't have a problem if you're feeding all your starfish. They should be really happy and they should live together just fine. Make sure whenever you do acclimate these guys, don't let them touch air. It can really hurt them. It really hurts them on the acclimating process when they're not used to it. So you have to put them in a bowl and then just carry that whole bowl over into the tank and then release them up under the water. Slow acclimation, like I said, we take it. Take your time on acclimating this guy so he'll be good and healthy in the tank. Make sure to keep your levels down. Make sure you're on top of your water changes because spikes in your tank, like nitrate spiking, ammonia spiking, it will. He will probably be the first one to go in these matters because they can really hurt him. So. Make sure your water's clean, make sure your salinity's good, and he'll be really happy. Make sure not to dose copper with this guy. Copper is a medicine that can really harm him. It's a little too strong for him to take in a tank, so if you you have to dose copper, make sure to take him out. Make sure to keep him away from aggressive predators. 
things like puffer fish and triggers, they might see this guy as a snack. I know a lot of times people want to put them in their predator tank, but a lot of times it does not end up well. So a lot of times these sea stars will do really good in tanks that are fish only tanks that have just like a bunch of tangs and angels and gobies running around. They do really well in those. But other than that, I think we pretty much hit on everything you need to know for the Red Knob Sea Star. Just remember, don't let them touch air. Give them a nice, slow acclimation. And make sure to hand feed him some meaty stuff. And he'll live really happy. And he'll look great in front of everybody that comes and sees your tank. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Ask some questions down below. I'm always happy to answer y'all back. And I will see y'all later.